Hey guys, before the video begins, I just want to acknowledge that we just reached 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel. So, to acknowledge this achievement, I will be doing a giveaway on the 6th of October. Giving away a poo bug skin, the orange shirt. It's worth about $2. And to compete in this giveaway, you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and comment that you subscribed and like the video in the comment section. Anyway, guys, peace out and have a good one. Enjoy the video. Hello everyone, and today I'm teaching you on how to increase FPS, fix stuttering, and even fix the marshmallow texture bug glitch that people are having. Now, let's get started. Now, what we're going to do is go into our Steam library and go to our Player on Earth Battlegrounds and go to our properties, set launch options, and in here, you're going to put in this line. Now, the first one is max mem. Max mem is just it just controls your memory of your PC. For example, I have eight gigabytes worth of memory installed in my PC. So you're gonna put eight thousand if you have eight gigs. If you have six gigs, it's gonna be six thousand, four gigs, four thousand, two gigs, two thousand, ten gigs, ten thousand, twelve gigs, you know, twelve thousand, etc. Use all available cores. It, all that does is um it makes sure all your cores are being used when the game is running. Malik ecosystem is just a line, is a just a command line that makes sure your memory is being used efficiently and just allocates more memory. SM4, um, that's in shared a model four um, from the Direct 10 system. It just increases your FPS. But it can cause stuttering, so if you experience stuttering when you add this line, take out SM4 and that should fix it. Low memory is the biggest one here, because low memory, um, this this line, low memory, can help people that have under 8 gigabytes that experience the marshmallow texture bug and the stuttering, and it allocates enough memory for them to play the game and it even increases their FPS, so add that as well, and it'll help you a lot. So after you've done that, you can exit out of Steam, well not exit out, but just close down on that. And you can go to this app, I'll link it in the description, called Smart Defrag 5. Now, you can use any defrag application, any third party, even the, more, even the default Windows defrag, but this one's the best because it's more efficient. So, as you can see, I have two drives. Obviously, one that has my Windows 7, not my Windows, my Windows 8.1 operating system, and my games, obviously. Now, for me, select, there's a lot of options that you can select here. That, for example, I always do the defrag and prioritize, prioritize files. Um, and this just makes your hard drive running smoothly and lower time when loading games. So, when you've done that, just all you have to do is just select defrag and prioritize. You can do any other ones, but you won't, you'll feel a different effect from them, and not as good as the defrag and prioritize files. As you see, it's slow, but it takes its time, and it makes it more efficient. And this can also fix the marshmallow texture bug if you're having a slower HDD. Now, if you do have an SSD, please try not to defrag you can trim SSDs but um don't defrag HDDs because it can damage them. So after you do that um you're gonna go down to a program called Contig. Contig's just a mini defrag manager um that internally just defrags your game files and just makes it you know easier for the hard drive and the memory to access the game files so what you're going to do is you're going down to you go to your game directory where poobug is installed so game steam apps common poobug and as you can see i already got it here but when you download contig you're going to get a zip file if you don't have WinRAR, I'll link it in the description as well. You'll get a locked folder if you don't have WinRAR. 
just open it up and extract it to your desktop. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Sorry, that's my dog. <laughs> um, and then you want to bring Contig to your folder. As you can see, it won't say this for you, but I'm just going to replace it. So right here, I've got Contig.exe. You're going to right click this and go create shortcut and then you're going to cut the shortcut and you're going to put it on your desktop so it's easier to access and once you're here you want to go to properties and you're going to see this target now so you're going to be on the shortcut tab and you're going to see target um, what you want to do is before D you want to put a quotation mark and after exe you want to put another quotation mark and then space dash s and then you want to apply it this is just an, an algorithm for it to defrag it properly and give it the right order because there's a as you see here it's going to recurse sub subdirectories for poobug so to make it easier to do you know i'm sorry just to make it easier to read the files so all you want to do is right click it and then run as an administrator and then click this and if you don't want to right click it every time you run as an administrator you can just go properties compatibility and then click run this program as administrator and apply it and then you're done and every time you click it it's going to run as a administrator now do run contig.exe before every match so that's that's enough. so my next tip is probably fairly simple and um probably the most um if if you have a little bit more money if you have like sixty dollars spare to spend uh, or even a hundred you can buy an SSD or HDD now I'm getting out of the free ways on fixing this but as you can see here I had to I had my poo bug installed on my local disc C. Somehow I actually found a fairly new 2013 hard drive sitting in my closet that wasn't broken. So I just installed it and put poo bug on it and I defragged it. And now I'm running it smooth as hell. So, yeah, so if you see a hard drive that you can clean up that you got spare, even if it's from 2011, you just put poo bug on it. Try defrag it. Try make try clean it up, and it should run fine. That way, you're not taking you're taking pressure off your your C drive, where your operating system so operating system can run without poo bug interfering with it, or you you can run poo bug without your operating system interfering with the game. So or any other stuff running on your C drive. So anyway, guys, those are my tips. I hope this fixes your stuttering, your FPS, anything for you. Um, anyway guys, I'm going to see you in the next video. Take it easy. I'll see you around.